Hello everyone, it's Celeste here and welcome to A Crafter's Story. Um, I think it's doodle time. I feel like doodling a little bit today, so I'm going to try something a little different. I have some of my, my 140 pound watercolour paper here, but it could be any white cardstock, it would be fine. And um, I'm going to colour it in. And I've chosen black, but it needs to be a dark color. But you could have a dark sort of wine red, maybe would be nice. A navy blue, a dark green, any of those darker colors would be nice. Um, I am just going to go with a black. And it's just my tempera paint, my water-based dollar store Tempera paint, so um, you could find something similar in a craft store, just actually sometimes even in your grocery store. So I'm really just going to cover it completely, let it dry, and then use my silver uni ball. I'm going to use my silver uni ball to doodle on it. Um, let me get something I can hold it down without. There we go, like that. Um, and I, because this is such a, a watered-down paint, I'm probably going to have to give it more than one coat. Um, but let's see, maybe I can just double up now and save some time. It dries pretty quickly. Oh, I might have overdone it. Well, let's see. Let's get quite a generous... I really want this to be a like a midnight black, like really dark, 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 so that my my pen shows up really well. There we go, I think. Okay, so you can tell there's water in this paint because it's making the watercolor paper kind of buckle a little bit, but when it dries, it will flat, flatten down, so it's fine. It's okay. There you go. All right, that has to dry, and then we're going to doodle. While I'm waiting for the black little square to dry, I played around with some black and red mixed, and um, it came out really nicely. This is just the first coat, so it's the same water-based tempera paint. Um, I'm going to just mix it up and show you guys. It's There's no real measure. The only thing I can say is that you need more red and less of the black. The black is quite strong um, and so when I mix it, oh, oh gosh I did it too much. Let me see if I can put a little bit back. I think I can put just a little bit back. I don't need quite as much of this black and then I'm going to mix up this Sort of red, oh, am I doing? Yeah, red grape, wine red kind of color. And I think it could actually look really nice as a background to the doodles that we're going to be doing just now. And just give it a good old mix up. Good old mix up. There's a little bit of maybe a tad too much red, maybe a tiny bit of black, right? Just a tiny bit. I don't know if tiny bit come, can come out of this bottle. Maybe I'll do it to the side, just in case. Oh, okay. I somewhat, maybe, kind of, sort of, liked it a tiny bit. <laughs> All right, let's mix this up. All right, I think that's about the right color. And let's go down. Yes. Okay, perfect. And I'm not, there's no finesse about this, guys. I'm just getting this color down. And then I'm going to wait for it to dry. Um, it doesn't take too long to dry, and I'm sure if I used my heat gun, it would be quicker. But I have a few little bits and pieces to go and do, so I'm going to leave to do that, come back, and get this start on the doodling a little later. All right, let's get nice and smooth. There we go. It's a really beautiful color. Okay. Okie dokes. I just wanted to share the, 
the mixing and how I came about. Um, uh, see, when you don't know when to stop, you mess up. Meaning me. Me. <laughs> okay, you guys. We'll come back when this is dry and the black one is dry and do a little bit of doodling on it. Okay, so it's, everything is dry. And I have these two four inch by four inch uh, little black squares. And then I've got these sort of maroon merlot wine red squares and while I was waiting for it to dry I got an idea um, and I changed my mind from using the silver uniball to now using the gold uniball because I had um, well let me show you and not talk um, so it's a doodle video definitely but there's only one doodle and it's I'm going to take one of each of these and I'm going to cut off a one inch strip like maybe maybe I'll make it a little bit make it one and a quarter you guys I think um, yeah let's do one and a quarter just for that little bit of extra space I can always cut that quarter off if need be I'm going to cut this down. Oh, did it go skew? Hope not. I wasn't pressing hard enough, maybe. Oh, shoo. Why? Are you? Okay, so some got messed up. We're going a little bit less. So let me push down hard or harder and get, get this. So it's not quite one and a quarter. It's one and a, one and a slightly less than a quarter. <laughs> Oh, and it's still, I wonder why it's doing that to me, but it's okay. It's all right. Let's cut this off because I'm going to probably want to use this other piece. There we go. Okay. So I've got that. I'm going to do the same with the black and let's see. Maybe this one won't give us such a hard time. So I'll try and see if I can make it, roughly speaking, the same size as this little... I'm going to call it red just because it's easy, easier. Okay, let's put it, roughly speaking, one and just less than a quarter. <laughs> and hopefully this one is easier to cut. I think so. It looks like it. Okay, there you go. So put this piece away. And what I want to do now is I'm going to doodle on these pieces. I don't like this white sticking out here. So I'm just going to maybe get a bit of a darker color and take it away. Take away all that white. It always makes me think something's unfinished when that white is sticking out. Okay. So, I'm going to take my gold uni ball now, and this is the part where I'll keep quiet and I'll just assemble this, and you'll see how it all turns out. Okie dokie, here we go.
there you go you guys that all done uh, I did go ahead and I rounded the corners with a, a corner punch and in places where I saw there was a little bit of glue um, that was shining through not luckily not too many places I took a little bit of paint and just went over it other than that I think they came out beautifully what do you think all right you guys thank you so much for visiting with me and I'll see you next time bye